Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, welcome! I know this isn't my typical intro, but for this video I was so focused on just upgrading the enclosures that I never ended up actually filming an intro, and then my plan for my outro went out the window, and you'll find out why as long as you watch until the end. So, um, this is my intro. Hi! Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be upgrading three of my animals. And as you may have guessed, the first one is going to be the Doomerol Spoa. Okay, so these are the two enclosures I've got. They were supposed to be 4x2x2 four by two by two and 4x2x2 four by two by two and like a half. That's not the case. It's 4x2x1 and 4x2x14 by by inches. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to use yet. But yeah, I'm going to clean them both anyway and then figure it out. So the Doomerol enclosure is finally upstairs. I wanted to do this earlier today. It's almost, I think it's after six now. I wanted to do this like, spend my whole day doing this, but we ran into some problems with this enclosure. One of the problems was that the bottom was leaking in the corners. And if you were to pee, I wouldn't want that to leak out onto my floor. So I had to silicone it and I accidentally grabbed white silicone. So yeah, there's white silicone in here now, but it's fine. So I hit the bottoms too, just to be extra safe. Um, I ripped out the LED bar that was back here because it wasn't working, so I went to Walmart and bought a new one. So then I had to go through the struggle of pulling out the old screws and putting in new screws to mount it. So I'll mount that once I get this on the shelf. Um, thankfully, heat panel still works. Nothing to change there. But it was also very dirty. There was lots of sticky goop because um, there was a bar going across for more arboreal snakes. So I take that out um, and the whole enclosure really smelled like snake pee. So I had to clean it a bunch of times and then it smelled like vinegar and then I had to clean it some more. But it's finally up here now. And yes, I am very bad at siliconing things, I know. So what we're doing right now is moving zero and we'll put the Doomerol boa down this big open area because it's a perfect fit. And then we'll move zero into Crikey's 30 gallon and move Crikey into the Doomerol's 40 gallon. So everyone will have sizes that are perfect for them. I'm so excited. So I am temporarily using newspaper as his substrate. I haven't quite decided what substrate I want to use for him yet. Everybody that I have talked to uses a different substrate. So there's a lot of, I don't want to say controversial, but a lot of differences in what people prefer as a substrate for Doomerol's Bella. So newspapers are a super easy cleanup for sure, but I would also like to look into a loose substrate. So this will probably be temporary. And in case you're wondering what I'm doing, I do just put sprayed down moss in his warm hide so that there is a humid spot. Since obviously, newspaper doesn't really hold humidity. You can kind of see his iridescence now where you couldn't before. With this lighting, you can see it. Hi, pretty boy. So now we're gonna move on to Crikey. And like I said, he's moving from his 30 gallon to the Boa's 40 breeder. You've been in there two minutes and you've already messed up your enclosure. Look at that. Moved his brand new hide out of the way, crumpled up his newspaper. You're lucky you're beautiful when your DIY hide doesn't go as planned. So 
Okay, so now I'm gonna fill this whole 40 breeder with this big block of organic soil that I got from Walmart. It's basically a giant version of the Eco Earth blocks, but maybe cheaper or the same price. Um, but I don't have a pet store near me, so these are great. We'll see how much this makes, but I'm probably just gonna use the whole thing. Okay, so I finished the substrate. I did the same thing. I did the last time I upgraded him. So it's a lot of Eco Earth or organic soil. Um, play sand because it's makes the soil better for digging um, and jungle mix to help with humidity. So he's got a nice thick layer to dig in now. And now we add the decor. Boy. A new favorite hiding spot because it's completely out of my view. Right? Completely out of my view. Oh, so do you have food? Okay, so it is now just about 10 o'clock at night. I thought this would go a little quicker. I don't know why I thought it would go quicker, but here we are, 10 o'clock at night. I finally have Crikey's old enclosure clean and empty, so now I can set it up for zero, get him moved in, and then I'm done. In case you didn't notice, I also cleaned up the back and stacked all my egg cartons. Instead of just having them thrown back there, I stacked them so it looks more organized and less insane. Alright, it is now 10.09. I'm officially done everybody's upgrades, but it is bedtime and everyone's asleep and Zero just buried himself completely. So I will in the morning take footage of what the enclosures look like because my footage isn't coming out very well right now with it being nighttime. And everyone's asleep anyway, so there's nothing to watch. So See you in the morning. All right, so now that it's daytime, let's take a look at these enclosures. 
So here's Crikey's again. He was just out basking, but I walked over so he must have ran and hid. Here's zeros that you destroyed in the night, of course. Right, you just had to destroy your enclosure. Nice brand new enclosure. You had to destroy it. Yep, he pulled all those leaves down. Here's the boa. He also destroyed his brand new hide I made for him. He was sitting on it last night, but luckily it seems like he still found his way into it. So thank you for checking out this video. Let me know what you think of their upgrades. I definitely want to get more like fake plants. For crikeys, I'd like to get some real plants to plant in there. Okay, so I decided I absolutely hate the newspaper. I hate the way it looks. It's great for easy cleanup, but I hate it. It looks so unnatural. And Doomworld boas tend to like to burrow or, you know, just bury themselves in the dirt a little bit. Um, so a lot of people will use loose substrate like Aspen or some sort of dirt mix. And I decided that's what I wanted to do. Plus... What kind of zookeeper would I be if I denied an animal the ability to showcase its natural behaviors? So I decided while I had him out because of an education program that I would just completely redo his enclosure all over again and give him a substrate. And you guys may have noticed from a couple other enclosures that I love to mix substrates. I don't normally use just one substrate unless it's like Aspen or something. So I'm gonna show you guys the upgrade, do his upgrade, and we're gonna go step by step showing you which substrates I decided to use and mix together. See that iridescence with these lights, I love it. So I still felt like something was missing. It still looked like just a black box to me. So now he has a fake plant in here and I'm actually really liking the way that it looks. And of course, while I was out getting him fake plants, I picked up some real plants to try in Crikey's enclosure. And then I got Zero, a big fern, same as the Doom Rolls, because it's what Phoenix has in her enclosure, and I absolutely love it. The 
since I switched water bowls between Phoenix and the Dumeril's boa, she now has room for a second hide. So in the meantime, I moved her big fern over to that side because she loves to hide under it. So now she can hide under that on that side and the basket on the other side. So again, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of the new enclosures. But also hit that subscribe button and notification bell before you leave today so you don't miss any more videos. And we'll see you for the next one.